All right. Good morning, everybody. We're going to start. This is the Floyd County Board of Supervisors organizational meeting for January 2nd, starting at 9 o'clock. First item on the agenda is to approve the agenda. All second. I don't ever know yeah, whether I or not. Right. <laughs> I think you're right. All second. And all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. All right. Let's move on to item two. Swearing in of the elected officials. I did ask, I think we've got enough, that we're going to try and move the um, swearing in out to the hallway. So if everybody would like to go out there. Pat, is he here? <coughs> what? Well, he's just like no. no. Listen, Frank. The yep. newly elected. Newly elected. Yeah. I've been newly elected. I know, newly elected. Frank. I'm glad to join Frank, too. Frank. Frank. Where's Frank? That's right. It's always the Where's Frank? Question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's Frank? There's his proxy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. You're right. You're right. I was like, wait, what did I do? What did I do? in there? Jeff's not in there. No. I just want to no. congratulate you. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he's got two years yet. We're ready for you whenever you're ready. You're late, Frank. You're patiently waiting. Can you get everybody drunk and such thing as special? Can one of you send me a photo too and I'll put it on the table? All right. Yeah, we're going to be in the center of the morning. 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 Morning
So workshops on Mondays and and the yep. regular the second meetings, meetings second and fourth. Right, right. I mean, I would go ahead. I don't think we've had any issues. Have you? Or we've any talked comments? in the past. We've done things in the past, different things. We moved them across the county, moved them different places, and right. nothing seemed to work. So okay. I'm comfortable with it being the way it is. All right, so I'll make a motion then go ahead and continue as we have had it where there are workshop meetings as needed every Monday. Our regular meetings are held every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. Okay. And I'll second that. Okay, and moved and seconded to leave our meetings as they are now. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Item six. Review action regarding destroying certain useless documents over 10 years old. And I will move to authorize the auditor and other department heads to destroy certain um, useless documents over 10 years old. All right, and I'll second that. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to allow the auditor to destroy certain useless documents over 10 years old. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 7, review action regarding resolution 01-19, recurring claims for 2019. And again, that was in our packet I saw. So. Yeah. Okay, I'll make a motion to go ahead and approve resolution 01-19 for recurring claims for 2019. I'll second that. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to approve resolution 1 19 recurring claims for 2019. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 8 review action regarding Board of Supervisor appointments. And with that, we have a split up of the list here. Yeah, the only comment I guess I was going to make is it seems like, Roy, you're kind of weighted more on the heavy side. Um, what I was, was yeah, going to yeah, recommend, yeah. maybe I could go ahead and continue to keep the foster grandparents to level everything out a little bit more. <coughs> yeah. I could if, if you want to, that's fine. I was going to say, you know, the thing we've talked about in the past at our workshops was, you know, there's a there's certain alternates that I'm on. Well, and you've got some of them aren't that heavy, but that's yeah. fine if you want to do the foster grandparents. I kind of went through it with Gloria the other afternoon, and, and you really can't go by the numbers. It, it's more I know by it's the hard. meeting. Mm -hmm. That's why I was looking at the boards. Right. Yeah. So, but if you're, and I like them the evening meetings, if, if you want to, and I've always said this too, these are not lifetime appointments. No. You know, if you need to change something, it's no big deal. Right. Right. Then an ICOG eating one, I'll take that one if you don't want that one. Um, the NIACOG? Well, there's three NIACOG meetings right. that are held at the same time, and then the the council meeting is actually, those are the hazmat and the... Right, those I would attend. Yeah. But you're talking about that, that the Iowa NIACOG Iowa Council of Governments, I yeah. think it is. And that's an evening meeting, a Monday night sure. meeting. And you want to do that one, you. that's fine. Okay, so, yeah. so Doug will do that one. And I'll take the foster grandparents. And will take and the might, foster grandparents. That'll balance us. Okay. Do you want more. to keep, um, put, like, keep Linda as the alternate, or do you want to be the alternate since he does some of the other Nyakov stuff? Or? I'd say probably just leave Roy as the alternate. Put Roy as the alternate. Yeah. Okay. And again, that, that evening meeting, if you're not on the exec board, it's only a, every other month, and they don't meet it in the summer either. Don't they? Okay. <coughs> we skipped the July meeting again to do. Okay, so let me be clear. So the Nyakog one that was under me as alternate is now moving to Rory? Is that what you're saying? Okay. All right. I just okay. want to make sure. Okay. All right. Got it. it and like I say, these aren't <coughs> lifetimes, so if you want to change them at some point, it's sure. a matter of putting it on our agenda. You know, if you run into a scheduling thing or not. Okay, sounds fine. So we need a motion to approve that. Yeah. And I will make a motion to approve the uh, supervisor 
committee and um, um, let's see mm -hmm. a point uh, uh, how we get it okay it is the appointments the supervisors appointments as follows from what we've got on our list with changes so noted with, with the changes, changes as noted okay. <clears throat> all right so with that I'll second okay then moved and seconded to approve the Board of Supervisor appointments with some changes as noted. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Board. Motion carries. Item 9. Review action regarding official county newspapers. And again, it's from the Charles City Press and the mm -hmm. North Springs. I think we have. Mm -hmm. Just for your information, for the population of our county, we are required to, if there are two newspapers, we are, uh, official newspapers, we are required to publish in okay. And on the bottom here, the Chelsea Press and the North, North Springs Springs Rockford Springs. Register. Yeah. Still and and with that, I can make a motion then that we continue to have uh, the Chelsea City Press, North Springs Rockford Register um, noted as our official county newspapers. And I'll second that. And moved and seconded to approve the Charles A. Press and the North Bank Rocket Register as the official county newspapers. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Vote. Motion carries. Mm. You're safe, Bob. <laughs> Item 10. Review action regarding appointments to various departments. This one, everything is the same with the exception of the medical examiner. Uh, they have asked to add uh, Dr. Malmer and Dr. Tull as alternates. Uh, sure. They have a particular day in January that uh, Royer, Schweitzer, and Schroeder will all be gone. And so this way it's everything probably covered. safe. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I bet they want them. Uh, in, if their services are needed, they are called in this order that's listed on okay. the mm -hmm. sheet here. So with that, um, all I, I can make a motion to go ahead and <coughs> why don't I just go through them so we have it on record. County Engineer is Dusty Rolando. Public Health, Home Health Care Director is Gail Arges. County Social Services General Assistance Director, Bob Lincoln. Case Management Director, Raina Kellogg. Sanitarian slash E91 addressing is Jeff Sherman. Emergency management slash zoning safety coordinator is Leslie Weber. Medical examiner as follows. Dr. Royer is the primary. Alternates are Dr. Schweitzer, Schrote, Molnar, and Toll. And then also the conservation director is Adam Sears. And I'll second that. we moved and seconded to make these appointments as spelled out by Linda. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 11, review action regarding city and non-elected appointments to the NICOG board. They're this both willing to serve. Yes, and I did have a confirmation from JR, or from uh, Joe Myrie. You're that you did, I saw yeah. you send it. Yeah, that okay. it is appropriate to appoint a city rep and the non-elected representative. So you, in the past you had JR Ackley and Jim Erb. If you want to do that, you can continue. So who right. is our city rep? JR. JR is. Oh, okay. He's yeah. a city okay. councilman. In. Right. <laughs> right. Well, I'll make that motion to approve JR Ackley as our city representative and Jim Herb as the non elected representative to the NIACOG board. All right, I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded to appoint JR Ackley as the city representative and Jim Herb as the non elected representative to the NIACOG board. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Both. Motion carried. Review action, to, to, item 12. Review action regarding appointment to the NIACOG Revolving Loan Fund Committee. And that is Pat Gable. And I had talked to him recently, and he was, he enjoyed that word, and I didn't even realize it not very much, but I think they meet mostly by phone, and he was in favor of that, so 
is a good one for that. You have an extra line in those sample minutes because you don't do that should be taken off. That's, that's what I was that's just going to yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm oh, trying to follow your agenda, that. Your agenda's perfect. Your, the agenda's fine. But yeah, I was minutes from following that. <laughs> okay. okay. Sounds good. Right. On track. right. Okay. Maybe okay. Sounds from the other. All right. <laughs> Well, with that, I'll make a motion to approve Pat Gable, appoint Pat Gable to the Nyakog Revolving Loan Fund Committee. Okay, and I'll second that. Okay, I move and second to appoint Pat Gable to the Nyakog Revolving Loan Committee Fund Committee. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Vote. Motion carries. Item 13, review action regarding appointments to the MAP 21 Enhancement Board the MAP 21 tech board. These are this, all full NICOG. Yeah, and I did, Joe, I followed up with Joe Miley on this as well. He said technically you don't need to appoint these. They are just understood appointments because of the capacity they serve in the county. So if you want to do that, you can, but it's not necessary to do so. I have no problem. I mean, I can go ahead and make a, a motion to approve again. It's no, just making sure that it's you know. it's being recognized officially that we're appointing Adam Sears to the MAP 21 Enhancement Board along with Dusty Rabondo to the Tech Board. And I'll second that. I move and seconded to appoint Adam Sears to MAP 21 Enhancement Board and Dustin Rolando to the MAP 21 Tech Board. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item 14, review action regarding appointing a non Board of Supervisors member and alternate to the Southwest Bypass TIP Board. And Gloria served in the past on that. And I, I will. And Frank is the alternate. And Frank is the he alternate. He has been in the past. Yeah. Been. And I'll move to appoint Gloria Carr, County Auditor, as a non Board of Supervisor member to the Southwest Bicep Pass TIF District Board and Frank Ridinghouse, County Treasurer, as alternate. Okay. All right, I'll second that. And moved and seconded to appoint Gloria Carr to the <coughs> Southwest Bypass TIF District Board and Frank Ridinghouse as the alternate. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, Item 15, review action regarding appointing a non Board of Supervisor member and alternate to the Floyd County Communication Board. Did we do this with our We have, um, list? Jeff Crooks has been the non, the non board mm -hmm. with board as the alternate. That's why it's been here yes. in the past. <coughs> And I would make a motion um, to go ahead and appoint Jeff Crooks again as a non board supervisor member along with Gloria Carr as the alternate to the communications board. And I'll second that. Been moved and seconded to appoint Jeff Crooks to the Floyd County Communication Board as a non board supervisor member and Gloria Carr, County Auditor, as an alternate. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Review action regarding appointments to the Cedar Valley Transportation Center Joint Board. And Dustin Rolando has done that for us in the past. I'll make a motion to appoint Dustin Rolando to the Cedar Valley Transportation Center Joint Board and give him the direction to name one of his assistants as an alternate. All right, I'll second that. And moving and seconded to appoint Dustin Rolando to the Sear Valley Transportation Board. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 17, review action regarding appointing three non board of supervisor members to the Charles City Area Development Board. Two year terms. And again, I think we have one left to appoint. Yes, um, and I have been in touch with uh, someone that is interested, but then I know you had sent out the um, state code requirements, again, just as a reminder. For gender balance. For gender balance. And so what I have done, and I'm waiting to hear back from 10 bucks on that. So I want, I'm really reaching out to him and say, you know, how does yeah. the ADC board sit today? So that is still an open issue. 
So I just wanted to make sure that you guys right, knew that. Right, and I've made a couple contacts over the western part of the county, but struck out on both of them. Well, and I've got someone. I mean, if we need okay. to reach out to us as a as a female, you know, possibly yeah, that could. Right. But I but I'm still waiting to hear whether or not we need right. to do so. So you, Travis O'Connell and Randy Heights are the two that you. Oh, what are we going to do? Every two years, and this is their two-year appointments are up. We have okay. not. We have not. You have not. Okay. We have not. So that would just leave then the, the third one that we would okay. have to wait on. So I have no problem if you want to make a motion to go ahead. Um, two out of the three that we could appoint would be uh, Randy Heights and also Travis O'Connell. As members of the ADC board, and I'll second that. The movement seconded to appoint Randy Heights and Travis O'Connell to the Area Development Board for two-year terms. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Uh, review action regarding Floyd County Weed Commissioner for 2019. And in the past, it's been our conservation director, Adam Sears, and does a great job. Yeah. And I'll make a motion to appoint Adam Sears uh, as the 2019 weed, County Weed Commissioner. I'll second that. And move to second to appoint Adam Sears as the 2019 County Weed Commissioner. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, in 19. Review action regarding 2019 appointment for power of attorney for certain farm service agency documents. These are any business that Floyd County has with their farm ground at the FSA office. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I'm there, you're there, either one of us. Mm -hmm. Seems like your eyes in there signing papers if you want to do that. I have no Do you go there? I'm a member of their, yeah, I'm okay. an FSA member. I'll make a motion to approve Supervisor Linda Jaden to act as power of power of attorney for Floyd County Business with Farm Service Agency for 2019. I'll okay. second that. The moved and seconded to appoint <coughs> Supervisor Jaden to act as power of attorney for Floyd County Business with Farm Service Agency for 2019. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 20, review action regarding <coughs> approval of the Floyd County Investment Policy. Um, this is Frank's area, but... Yeah, see, I did contact Frank. Um, it's the same policy that you've approved since 2012. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you know? yeah, it's in our packet. Nope, 11%. Mm -hmm. That's where it's dead. Bird day. Nothing's changed in it anyhow? No, he said not, there's no changes to it. And what we heard in our bond sales, it must be pretty good. Yeah. They were impressed by the interest he was getting. Right, right. Yeah, okay. Well, would entertain a motion for that? I'll, I'll make a motion to approve the Floyd County Investment Policy dated January 3rd, 2012. And I'll second. Been moved and seconded to approve the Floyd County Investment Policy dated January 3rd, 2012. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 21, review action regarding resolution 2-19, naming depositories for the 2019 for the treasurer, sheriff, and recorder. The only changes that there have been to this one is that um, uh, Baker's Trust was on here and they have been, um, they were the bank that was holding the second bond that we got to cover the Build America bonds at the $6 million. Mm -hmm. That's come off because that was paid off right. in June. And um, Is that Two Rivers one, the one that we're having questions over? Two Rivers, Two Rivers. is the one that you yeah. <coughs> added. November or December. It was, when it was very recent. But the amount has been increased from, it was 10000 that's been increased to 75000 and that's to cover them holding our funds that we send them. As we collect funds, we send them to them. And All right. 
Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 02-19. Um, let me just go down through them. It'll be for the county treasurer, it'll be for Security Bank and Trust, Bank of America, and Two Rivers Bank and Trust. For Security, it will be at 25 million. Bank of America is 1,500,000. Two Rivers is at 75,000. The county sheriff will be with First Security Bank and Trust in Charles City for 500,000, and the county recorder at First Security Bank and Trust here in Charles City for 80,000. And I'll second that. Been moved and seconded to approve resolution 2-19, naming depositories for 2018. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 22, review action regarding resolution 3-19, naming depositories for 2019 for CPC, case management, general assistance, custodial accounts. I think there should be no changes to this one. No changes at all. No changes there. Make a motion to approve resolution 3-19, naming depositories for 2019 for CPC case management general assistance, First National Bank, Charles City $50,000, First Security Bank and Trust, Charles City $50,000, North Iowa Community Credit Union and Mason City $50,000, and Iowa State Bank of Clarksville $50,000. All right, I'll second that. Okay, then move to second to approve resolution 3-19, naming depositories for 2019. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 23, review action regarding publication of growth wages for 2018. This is uh, annually you are required to publish the uh, collected wages for employees. So this, we typically do this on a calendar year. So this puts that out on the calendar year. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll go ahead and make a motion. Um, that we continue to publish gross wages um, for 2018. And I'll second that. Okay, we'll move to second it to approve publication of gross wages for 2018. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion period. Review action regarding resolution 4 19, number and appointment of deputies, assistants, and clerks. So this is uh, um, from historically what the Board of Supervisors <laughs> do is only on the election year do they do the appointments for the people who were just, or following the election year, uh, appointments who were people who were just elected. So every two years you have this, but it's whoever was on the ballot for that prior election. So this just has the offices of county attorney, county treasurer, and county recorder. Um, so, um, and it's just listing the people that they have in place already. Um, the changes that were made is that from four years ago is uh, the language about only one deputy um, for the recorder's office allowed on here where she had, four years ago she still had two because of the attrition of one who retired since. Um, so I think this is up to date. And counties do this many different ways. Some counties list all of their employees every year. Some counties list all elected officials employees. Um, Again, yeah, some do it every year, some do it, this is where 99 counties are. <laughs> so years ago, this was the practice that the Board of Supervisors said, let's just do it this way, and then throughout years, four years of an elected officials, if there's changes, then we change it at that time, which you've done in the past as well. So I quite, just a question. So the one says the county treasurer shall be allowed one deputy each for property taxes and motor vehicle. That's Correct. not... Um, well, through attrition, that's what he's got right now. Maybe that one should be rewarded. I, I think reward we that. need to reward that one since we just went through this. Yeah. I would, I guess, mm. recommend that we kind of reward that one. If you want, you could table this as well, and we could do it at the next meeting so we could come up with language, unless you want to come up with the, up with the language of this meeting. Yeah, the other thing that I look at this, and 
And I see because we put names to each of these positions, actually the way I would read this, and I'm not an attorney, but if someone were to resign and leave, they would have to come back to us to do a new resolution to put that a new correct. name in there. That is correct. And so they couldn't just go hire somebody technically the way I see this, but again, I'm not an attorney. That is so. correct. I, these Iowa codes say that you have to approve all appointments. That right. Iowa code 9 or 331-903 sure. says you have to approve all appointments. So with that, we could pass this the way it sets. But I, that's a, that's, yeah. If we could get some clarification on the other, that's fine. I would make a motion that we table this one okay. for now, and let's get this reworded. Okay. Put a little more, more thought to it. And I'll second that. Okay. Seconded to table item 24, which is resolution 4-19. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, opposed. Motion carried. <coughs> item 25, review action regarding resolution. 5-19, allowing certain individuals to take county vehicles and equipment home and be available on a 24-hour basis. And this is typically the secondary roads. I don't believe any language changed on this. So this is... This lets his... Uh, <coughs> yeah, and this has been the practice in the past and it's worked out well, I believe. For as long as I can remember. Yeah. So I'm going to make a motion that we approve resolution 5 19, allowing certain designated uh, employees to take vehicles home. Um, per our policy. I'll second that. Okay, been moved and seconded to approve resolution 5 19, allowing certain individuals to take county vehicles and equipment home. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, motion carried. Item 26, review action regarding resolution 6-19, construction evaluation resolution. This is what you often have referred to as the master matrix resolution. This is what allows you to um, have those reviews of the master matrix scoring and public hearings. This is the language that came from ISAC in the sample resolution, not the one that you sent. I was going to say, this is different than the one that yeah. I had sent. Okay. This was from the citizens group. <laughs> I'm good with this. No. Okay, thank you. So I will move to approve resolution 06-18 for construction evaluation resolution. And I'll second that. Okay. Then move and seconded to approve resolution 6-19, the construction evaluation resolution. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Item 27, review action regarding setting a time and a date for zoning hearing to rezone property for the Lakeview Estate subdivision lots 1 through 22 in the east half. So, <coughs> blah, 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 Riverton Township. So what do they mean? Mm -hmm. They're what meeting pretty quickly. Right? They're going to meet, I, I think agree. they ended up going to the 14th. Okay. Their meeting, and so like the 22nd, which is on the 22nd. 22nd. At 9:15, you have your uh, budget amendment, so I suggest you should put 9:30 on it. That's fine. I'll move to approve then that we set the public hearing for uh, rezoning property for Lakeview Estates subdivision lots 1-22 in the E1/2 12-94-15 Rivertown Dis Township. For January 22nd at 9:30. And I'll second that. I think we need a second or two to set the date and time for the public hearing for rezoning a property in Lakeview Estate. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Item 28. Note the compensation board recommendations for elected official salary for fiscal year 20. 
And again, I think some of us sat in on their discussion. Um, they look well, we at it from so out. many different ways. <laughs> and we can, uh, we can know that we're going to discuss we're it. We're just a lot noting it. Out. Yeah, yeah. So I would say yes, we've noted it. Okay. I want to make sure we thank the compensation board for the, all the work they did to you because they, if you came to their meetings or listened to it, it, they really did a lot of work. So thank them. Number 29, fiscal year 20 departmental budget reviews. All right. So with that, that's it. We're, we're usually, we don't need it recorded. Okay. <laughs>